The President of the European Commission travelled to St. Petersburg early this week to attend the 29th EU-Russia summit. Talks focused on the European-Russian relationship. Russia is not only the EU's largest neighbour, it's also a strategic partner with which the EU is building a solid and mutually beneficial relationship. During the EU-Russia summit, President Barroso highlighted the important progress achieved in recent years in key areas of cooperation, such as energy, the ratification of Russia's WTO accession, visa and mobility issues. President Barroso agreed that abolishing visa restrictions was one of Brussels' long-term goals, but added that doing so would require an approval from every EU member state. Our goal remains visa-free travel. It depends, of course, on the political will of all the 27 member states, but also on some technical uh, matters that have to be addressed by the uh, Russian authorities. And I hope that we'll see progress uh, in the not distant future in this area that I know is very important for uh, the Russian citizens, namely young citizens, but not only. Also, it is very much in the interest of the European Union, as I've already stated. The leaders also discussed in an open and frank exchange of views the situation regarding human rights and the rule of law in Russia. An ambitious and comprehensive bilateral new agreement should become a solid basis for cooperation in the years to come. This agreement should include substantial provisions on trade and investment, including energy. On his way back to Brussels, President Barroso stopped in Berlin where he met with German Federal Chancellor Angela Merkel. The two leaders discussed Europe's response to the economic crisis and the priorities of the next European Council in Brussels on June 28th and 29th. They both agreed that beyond immediate actions for growth and stability, a political vision for the future of Europe is needed and that the monetary union should be supported by the creation of an economic union. The European Commission and Germany are both in favour of the creation of a banking union to reinforce the supervision of European banks and increase their lending capacities. We believe that for the longer term it is very important to give already now some signals to the citizens and to all the investors worldwide that we believe and will do whatever is necessary to ensure the stability of our currency. On Wednesday, the president received in Brussels the visit of Brigitte Raffini, Prime Minister of Niger. He congratulated the Nigerian authorities for having conducted an exemplary democratic transition in the country since 2011. The president announced that the European Union will be launching a civilian mission to Niger to assist the country in its fight against terrorism and organized crime. At the end of July 2012, European police forces will start training Nigerian police, gendarmerie and National Guard. He also confirmed Europe's commitment to support Niger with humanitarian and financial aid, as Niger and neighboring countries are currently facing severe food shortages.